Welcome to Switchboard ELD, and we will be going over the split sleeper provision today. We will cover the reasons why you choose to use split sleeper and how it works with examples. First off, split sleeper birth periods pause on duty and driving timers and split up your schedule into shorter shifts and breaks. It is currently implemented in windows of 8-2 hours or 7-3 hours. The split sleeper provision can help your schedule be more flexible, especially during the shift window of pickup and drop off time, which means no extra time wasted waiting around. Additionally, it helps to establish safer driving habits and eliminate accidents caused by driver fatigue. Whether you choose to do an 8-2 split or a 7-3, the rules apply the same. You have a total of 14 hours on duty with 11 hours of driving within that and 10 hours of breaks needed to reset the clock. During your breaks, there is a short break of two or three hours and they are able to be during sleeper birth or off-duty status. However, it cannot be a combination of the two. The long break, seven or eight hours, can only be in the sleeper birth status. When a driver logs seven or more hours in sleeper birth, the system will automatically assume the driver intends for that sleeper birth period to be part of a split sleeper pair. We're going to break down the split sleeper schedule into different portions to help you understand the system better. Here's an example based on a 24 hour log. The first portion of the shift includes a period of on duty, driving, and a break. The second portion is the same with on duty, driving, and a break. However, one of these breaks will be seven or more hours in sleeper birth. And when we add up the hours in total, we are within the hours of service rules with a maximum of 14 hours total on duty 11 hours maximum of driving. At the end of the second portion, we will disregard the first and only take into account the hours that we have in this portion here. This continues as you take your breaks. You will remove the one previous portion and calculate the hours left to drive before the next break. Here are a couple examples. Our first example will make use of all hours with a 7-3 split sleeper birth schedule. Remember, small breaks can be either sleeper birth status or off-duty status, and long breaks can only be in sleeper birth. After our first break, this will be point A, and we can see that we used up six hours total and a driving total of five hours. After the short break, we have a total of eight hours left and a maximum of six hours driving. We can utilize all of these hours up before we take our long break. Here at point B, we have used up all our hours, and we can now calculate the next available hours until our next short break. At point B, we will disregard everything before point A. We have used up six hours of driving total of eight hours on duty, and what we have left is a total of six hours of which five hours can be driving. At point C, we will now disregard everything before point B and calculate from there. Here is another example of a 7-3 split, but without using all the hours. At point A, we have eight hours total of seven which can be used to drive. We do use that all up by point B, and here we can calculate that we have a six hours total of which four can be driving. We only use up a total of four hours of which three is driving, and so at point C, after our short break, we have a total of 10 hours and eight of which can be driving. A reminder that the short break can either be taken in sleeper birth or off duty as shown, but long breaks are only available in sleeper birth status. Here are examples of switching from different split times. This one shows switching from 8-2 to 7-3, and this one is 7-3 to an 8-2. When moving from 8-2 to 7-3, you must have a minimum of three hours in between as the short break. However, when switching from 7-3 to 8-2, you may continue as normal as there are already three hours in between. You may not ever have a two hour short break period in between the longer sleeper birth breaks. Another quick note is that within the 67 hours of service rule, you need to be aware of how many hours on duty you have on seven or eight consecutive days. You may restart a seven or eight consecutive day period after taking 34 or more consecutive hours off duty. This is very important to understand as any small miscalculations may cause you to be in violation of your hours of service rules. Always track hours of service and hours remaining from the last checkpoint. Thank you for watching, and we hope we helped you understand the split sleeper provision better. As always, we at Switchboard offer 24 hours, 7 days a week support, and you can always reach us if you have any further questions.